The Undertaker's legendary career is close to ending. Between health flows and part-time appearances, the writing is on the wall for the dead man. One aspect of his career that will be most remembered is his WrestleMania record. He is currently 23-2 at the grandest stage of the mall. He won 21-0 until Brock Lesnar broke his streak. Despite the loss, his winning streak is one of the most legendary in the sport. What makes his streak so attractive to the fans is the hypothetical arguments that are made about the streak. More specifically, the opponents that could have beaten his streak. Here are the best wrestlers that could have beaten The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Yokozuna In 1994, Yokozuna was the man. He defeated The Undertaker at the Royal Rumble. He went over due to the fact of Taker needing time to have his back heel. If we could go back, I'll have The Undertaker because Yokozuna the leading title to WM10, setting the stage for a gigantic battle at WM10. Since 1994, had two Rumble winners, I have Lex Luthor fight Yokozuna before WM. Thus, having Taker come into the fray, Yokozuna was built well during this time. Due to this, being the Undertaker would make sense. The Rock Stone Cold Steve Austin was projected to face Hulk Hogan at WM18. Due to this, the Taker vs. Rock match could have occurred, maybe even in 98 or 99. The Rock was over and a win wouldn't be an issue. Kurt Angle Kurt Angle is a pure athlete. In his prime, he could really run circles around The Undertaker. This match could have happened in 05, better in 06. Angle never had a good main event win at WM, and it's sad to remember. Maybe a win over The Taker could have gone a long way. Stone Cold Steve Austin The Ministry of Darkness was powerful in 1999. The Undertaker was looking very dangerous, while having a more dangerous following. Stone Cold was still battling Vince McMahon. Although the high power segment did not occur until June, Stone Cold could have feuded with the Taker for half of 1999. Taker could walk into WM15 and drop the title to Austin, adding fuel to their rivalry. Stone Cold was obviously the more over wrestler at this point in time. He could have given Taker his first WM loss. Bret Hart Bret Hart was the torchbearer during the New Generation era. His technical skills could challenge The Undertaker on any stage. Due to this, Hart could have beaten Taker in 1995 or 1997. Seeing the dead man tap out in the sharpshooter would be some history-making stuff. John Cena John Cena has gone over on every superstar on the big stages except one man, The Undertaker. Cena has beaten Michaels, Triple H, Big Show, JBL, and The Rock. Many fans want Cena to be the Taker's last match. It's equivalent to Hogan vs. Flair, which never happened. It needs to happen. The last dominating predecessor in the locker room passing the torch for good. Sting. WM31 was a wasted opportunity. Sting was healthy. Taker was healthy. The event really needed a headliner for the match. Why not have Sting face Taker? The two most famous mythical and dark personas facing off. You are listening to Fox Sports 1340 AM.